So in order to get started, the question is always, okay, how to choose stages and how to dry? First of all, some recipes start with a freezing stage. This is basically an emergency stage if you do not have any other means of freezing your material. Do not freeze in the machine. It's not efficient for this and the machine is too expensive to use it as a freezer. It's much cheaper to do, that in a, to do this in a regular freezer or in, a, or in an RFQ. Now, the, the idea of those stages is to slowly, slowly increase the temperature for the drying process. If you wish to eliminate one of the stages, then you, you can disable it by just pressing it. And if it's red, it will be enabled again. Now, this is a standard recipe. It starts with, it has five hour stages, first of all. Then the temperature increases by first five degrees. So it starts at minus 10. This is usually a good point to start. Much lower will not result in any evaporation and much higher might already cause a collapse of your material. And then you move on minus five, zero, plus 10, plus 20. And all those stages are, as you can see, five hours. The last stage here is a 40 hour stage at plus 40 degrees Celsius. Now, with most mater material, it will not take you 40 hours to dry them at 40 uh, degrees Celsius. However, what you should do is wait until the pressure reaches somewhere between 150 and 250 millitor and does not move for two or three or three hours anymore. And then your material is dry. I suggest for your first drying, for, your, for the first times you dry, to take time to dry. And then use the statistics to eliminate those stages where no evaporation happened and cut the time at the end in order to optimize your drying time. But do not try it the other way around as it will cost you more time and more material. Try to make a very long drying time first and then work your way down. 